guys, welcome back to the channel. Rob here, Foyloaded Customs. So we went and we picked up the 1980 Chevrolet Scottsdale a couple days ago here. We got it sitting in the shop now. So if you haven't already, be sure to check this video out here. Filmed it a little while ago. We got this vehicle revived for the first time in 26 years. Got it up and running. And now that we got it revived and up and running, so let's uh, strip it down, tear it down, shh, paint on it, give it that retro style 80s paint job, and then put it back on the road. So let's flip this camera around and let's figure out what we're gonna need for this Chevy square body. In case you haven't seen the revival video or you're tuning into the channel for the very first time, be sure to check out the link in the video description for the revival video of the 1980 Scottsdale recently did here. So we're gonna get this thing back on the road and give it that cool retro style paint job from the 80s. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna to toss it up quickly here on the screen uh, so you can check it out. It's got a really cool 1980s custom paint job on it. That's what we're gonna be restoring this vehicle back to, and that's what I'm gonna be painting on it. Looking forward to doing this for the original owner whose truck this is. So basically, we're starting off with a pretty good driver's side front fender here. Uh, the driver's side door's in pretty good shape. There's really just a little bit of minor rust around on the, the door handle I'm gonna have to worry about. A little tiny bit at the, at the bottom of the door, nothing too serious. By far the worst portion of the truck is the box side on the driver's side here. So it's gonna need basically a lot of this replaced. I would like to keep as much original metal as possible on the truck. So for the entire box side on these trucks, I believe I did price it out. It's roughly around 1700 bucks or so to get it shipped here. Uh, I believe that's from RPM in Saskatoon. Uh, you can get a cheaper price from Classic Industries, but by the time it gets up here through Canada with the US to Canadian dollar conversion rate, shipping, everything else, it's probably gonna be about the same price. What I'm planning to do, I gotta go to Edmonton anyway for work and travel back and forth, back and forth for the next three weeks. So I'm gonna stop at the pick and pull, see if I can get myself a nice uh, patch panel piece there from one of the trucks that might be in the yard. And that's only because I haven't been able to find this section here uh, remanufactured in a patch panel. The patch panel I have found for the front portion of the box is only 11 inches. If you do happen to know where I can get a patch panel section like this, please do leave it in the comment section below. I haven't been able to find it. That's why I'm thinking about going to the pick and pull and getting that section there. And if I can do that, they do remanufacture the wheel well chunk I can get for a replacement panel. Same with the panel at the back here too for the tail light section, comes to right about there. So that's my plan for the box side anyway, because I would like to keep as much original metal on the truck as possible. Um, there's a very minor hole at the back of the cab there on the cab corner section. And then when we come around to the front here, the front of the truck, she's in pretty good shape. The headlight assembly pieces, the grill, everything else is in really nice shape. It just needs to be polished up. I can polish it up and make it look pretty much brand new. Um, so that'll be pretty good taken care of. There's a small little dent here in the front of the bumper. Uh, see if we need to knock that down, straighten it out, or find another bumper that's not bent. And hood-wise, the hood's in really nice shape. She's not really dented significantly anywhere. There's a little, a couple minor, minor, like dime-sized dents. They're really nothing too, too bad on the hood there. And on to the passenger side fender. So the passenger side fender, she's going to need a patch right in here. They do remanufacture that portion and. They also remanufacture that as well. Uh, it is rusty right in here. So what I would like to do is either find another fender that's in better condition, slap that on, or we'll cut those out, make a patch panel, and also maybe cut that section out of a better fender and make a patch for it as well. But uh, passenger side door now, it's in pretty decent shape. This is the worst, per the worst portion of it right here around the, the door handle there. Very minor rust on the bottom of the door, just some surface rust. Rocker panel on the passenger side is good. Driver's side will need to be replaced. Small, small hole on the cab corner there too. And for the box side, I'm just gonna do the same thing here too. Get the patch panel piece that comes to here, the wheel wheel trim. And if I'm at the pick and pull, I'm gonna find this piece, go cut that down here and I'll get that whole section where the gas cap is 
that I haven't been able to find for a patch panel yet. So that's the plan with the uh, the box side and the passenger side. And for the uh, the tailgate section here of the truck, so it's basically in pretty good shape. It's got some minor surface rust at the bottom there, and it is going to need a little patch right over there uh, whenever I get to the, working on this section. Other than that, though, it's in pretty good shape. It's not really bent or smashed in anywhere, which is the case for a lot of the tailgates on these things. And the, the rear bumper, it would be nice to find a rear bumper replacement for this truck here as well because it is peeling up right here pretty bad. And on this side, it's uh, really coming up there with the rust. But overall, tailgate and stuff is in pretty good shape. Replace on the rear bumper. So that's basically the walk around here on the 1980 Scottsdale. In case you haven't seen the previous revival video on this truck, or if you're new to the channel, you're just tuning in for the very first time. It's now got you at the speed of what basically we're working with. So I got to go back and forth and travel back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Edmonton for the next three weeks. <laughs> there goes my, my, there goes my October. So anyways, we'll catch you guys at the pig and pull and let's do some cutting. So what we've gone ahead, we've got our box section all cut out here. She's actually not too bad on the back. On the back, she's looking pretty decent. It's just this one section down over here, but I'll be able to sandblast that so it won't be too, too bad. Make a good patch panel out of this piece here, mainly just for this chunk down there is what I needed it for. Um, there's a big hole in the Scottsdale right here, but they don't manufacture this piece. So now that we got the driver's side section, let's head over to the other side of town so we can get the passenger section at the other pick and pull, do some more cutting. So we got our box side piece all cut out here. She's actually in really good shape on the back there. So there's very, very minimal rust even way down at the bottom here. So it's in really excellent shape. Cut this out. So I'm gonna go see what this costs. So I was thinking about it. And since we're already here, we might as well just go ahead and cut this portion off. Because I know they're gonna charge me for the whole thing anyway. So. The bottom portion is still pretty good. It's not too bad at all. It's nice and solid other than this section right here, but we are getting the wheel well piece that should fix that. So might as well just cut it from this uh, line straight across and uh, snag on this piece. Cool guys, so we got our 
sections cut off the box here. This one's pretty good too, like I was saying before. Other than just this little bit in the corner down there, the majority of it is pretty good. Not too bad at all. I'll sandblast this, it'll be pretty good. Peace. We got our, our cutting done for the afternoon on the C10s here at the pick and pull and the I-pull, U-pull. Let's uh, head over to Princess Auto, pick up some 3060 crush glass for the sandblaster I got at home, jack that C10 up, and we're gonna be sandblasting underneath that pickup truck. Especially while the weather's still nice here before it starts snowing. Last unit all set and ready to go here. Got our patch panels, and I know what you might be thinking. Short box, long box patch panels. But what we're gonna do here is get our measurements from the truck, come back to the patch panels, cut them, weld them to size, take them outside, sandblast them, and we'll have ourselves good patch panels for the sections we need here. I was also able to find a really nice passenger side fender. Um, and on top of it, too, the same guy's got the rocker panel I'm gonna need. He just couldn't find it when I was down there last. So I'll be able to pick that up next time I go to the city. Got a good passenger fender off him. Basically just sandblast this thing. It's set and ready to go. Was able to get a good couple horns from the pick and pull. I pull, you pull for the horn covers. Because um, we do need one of those. And it doesn't hurt to have a spare if they're only a couple bucks. So I got, got those as well. So, so now we got everything all basically set up. Let's back the truck outside. Jack it up. And let's get to blasting some sand before she snows. <laughs> We've sandblasted as much loose rust off as we can on the truck. It actually turned out pretty good. So let's flip the camera around, take a quick look at it. Cool, so she did a pretty good job here. Got down to the, to the bare metal on a lot of it. So what was really good, just basically looking to knock off a lot of this, these big, big rust chunks here off the frame, which we did. So this is the driver's side here. To quickly take a look at the passenger side. And on the passenger side, same thing here too. I was able to knock off a bunch of these chunks. You can see them later on the ground here. There's another one there. So anyway, did a pretty good job. And underneath back here, you can just see everything laying down there too. Let's just crawl up underneath here. But you can see the box section there compared to when I first started, 
was able to knock off quite a bit of the loose rust. All right, cool guys. So we got all the sandblasting done. We knocked off as much loose rust as we could. Just in time too, because fantastic. It's snowing. Actually, no, it's not. It's not fantastic at all. <laughs> I want my summer back. But anyways, let's throw the wheels and tires back on the Scottsdale, roll it back in the shop, and let's start stripping this thing down, get it ready for body work.
So the inner fender well bolts on the passenger side, they're coming out fairly easy, which is really good. Usually you gotta turn these things a bunch of times, but I'm usually getting one or two turns out of these, and they're coming right out. So let's uh, continue on gently, removing the rest of the bolts from the inner fender. Alright, cool guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave your comments down below in the comment section. If you guys take the time out to leave me comments, I'm going to make sure I take the time out to reply to you. I uh, appreciate you guys watching the channel here, so let me know how the truck's turning out so far. Uh, the video I just posted, got the front half of the truck torn apart, but as you can see behind me here, the back half of the truck, the box has been taken apart here. I got, uh, oh, where's my head? There we go. Frame's been sandblasted here at the back. Um, majority of the welding's been all, well, pretty much all the welding's been done to the front half of the truck. The two doors have been welded up. The fender's been welded up. Uh, and a majority of the tailgate that you can see behind the box there too, that's all been welded up and buttoned up. Just ran out of welding gas the other day. Otherwise, I'd have that done too. Pretty much at this point, getting ready to spray some primer here right away. So guys, and parts are showing up too, so... Heck yeah. So, all right guys. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out this year too. Uh, trying to get these videos out to you as well. I just gotta work a full-time job right now and travel back and forth, back and forth to Edmonton, back and forth, back and forth to Calgary, and also find some time to sit down and edit some videos. Been busy. So, uh, I'm gonna try and get these videos out here to you. Hope at least once or twice a week here now that I kinda got caught up on some footage. Got some stuff to edit. If I set a time for like half an hour, I got about two or three videos right now on the phone that I can probably edit and get ready to post every second week or something. But uh, whenever I quit my job, doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> uh, I can spend more time in my shop. If I get to spend more time in my shop, I'd be freaking posting a video at least every week. So wouldn't be too bad. Oh, I can, you know, I could also do it the bad chat style too if I want to post more videos. Just set the camera up there, talk as I'm doing something for half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, I could post something every time I'm out here then basically. Or I could just continue on this style here where by the end of the video you've seen some sort of big progress uh, has been done. So anyways guys, just let me know in the comment section down below. Um, if you're liking this style here, I'll try and get a video out to you guys in the series here at least once every two weeks. Um, for now, until <laughs> we quit that job. Which, you know, made, doesn't sound too bad. Doesn't sound. I might just have to call into those guys permanently not showing up due to lack of interest here. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> so anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. There'll be more videos coming out here on the Paint Series 1980 Scottsdale. Stay tuned for those. So until next time, remember, it's not regular, it's not custom. Catch you guys next episode. Take care.